What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Beans, and I'm in the building with another banger for y'all today. Y'all been asking about the best badges to put on the versatile paint beast build, aka the VPP, that I dropped in a video a couple weeks back. Well, guess what? Here's the badges, defensive and the rest, and I will break down each one. Make sure you guys make that build, or this might not make sense to you in the numbers point, but I will still break down the best badges and why to put them on. Let's get it going. But with that specific build, my build, 16, 1, 6, and 30. 30 defensive badges. That's 34. We had 39 a couple times, and they gave us extra badges. Um, slippery off ball for shooting. Shooting's not a really big thing on our build. Actually, we can't really shoot to save our life, but shh, keep that a secret. Uh, slithery off ball. Slippery off ball, rather. We're going to put that on bronze. All we can get it on. It will allow us to maneuver around the court. Potentially getting open when we shouldn't be. Playmaking, we get six playmaking. Let's get bullet passer going on goal. They will allow you to get that ball out. We better zip it out to the three point line. Whether you have the ball, you know, in the high post or even for some reason you're running a point. We're not going to discriminate. Um, unpluckable on goal will allow you not to get stripped as easy when in the three point stance or dribbling. Shouldn't be dribbling too much, but hey, what am I to say? Um, make sure you put that on your team. So thank you later. We're here to make a positive impact, not a negative impact. Hold it down for the VPP gang. Listen, limitless takeoff on goal. This will allow you to take off from further, more effective. Goes hand-in-hand -hand kind of, I feel, like with the Michael Jordan dunk animation. Shh, don't tell nobody. Posterizer on gold. Goes without being said. That will allow you to get them big body dunks. This is the highest we get it on, so let's put it on gold. Slithery finisher will allow you to be more elusive around the rim and in the paint. You know, avoiding bodies when we're not catching bodies. So we are elusive as well as powerful. This is a great build. Rise up on gold. Will allow you to go up as fast as possible on the gather catch that ball go up put that puppy in two points we're back on defense um put back boss on silver i like to go for put back dunks this is amazing for that it's also good if you're just catching the ball and then you want to go ahead back up and slam it goes hand in hand with rise up they kind of hold hands those badges really good badge to put on put back boss on silver lob city on bronze goes without being said so you can catch some big body alleys and unstrippable don't get it confused with uh unpluckable unstrippable is when you're going up in a gather motion not to get stripped on a lamp or a dunk a lot of guards like to reach you guys know this and if you don't you learn it uh here's our 30 defensive badges and we're gonna go ahead and get it started off with rebound chase up i just took away the badges this is what it would look like with 30 i took off ch uh chase down artists intercept and pickpocket down one rebound chase on hall of fame will allow you to get those rebounds that's what we're out there to do get nitty get gritty get them boards kick it out continue on that's our job bro that'll help you listen rim protector on hall of fame will allow you to protect the paint it says right here improves ability to block shots i agree less is the likelihood again dunk down i mean we're doing our thing 2k kind of holding us back there with the sliders they put on this year but this will give you the best chance to get those stops inside i know paint defense is broken but with this build you're kind of able to fight fire on super fire so brick wall on hall of fame we're out there to set them big body screens if your guy tells you hey i don't want no screens you don't have to put brick wall on be like okay and then put it on anyway because we will set screens can't stop us if you're not setting on ball screens you can also set off ball screens this is effective for that as well you will be able to get them big body screens make sure you're laying some people on the floor you ain't setting the screen right um i'm gonna go over to intimidator intimidator is a great 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 badge and the reason why i like this because sometimes you're in the vicinity it's just by being in the area somebody will miss perfect badge put this on it helps you in the paint helps you on the perimeter helps you all across the court so intimidator is a crucial badge make sure we're putting on hall of fame if we're not having our hall of fame i don't know what to tell you worm is one of my personal favorites i put that on hall of fame it allows you to swim move around somebody boxing you out on offense or defensive side of the ball i like to crash the glass regardless so I'm always trying to swim, move, and get get around uh, the, the person who's trying to box me out, whether it's on offense or defense, because we crash that glass. That's what this build is good for. Clamps on gold, help, you, help your uh, lockdown, or maybe point guard, whoever's guarding ball, helps you to uh, go out there and potentially, you know, get that bump. Clamps will allow you to get them bump animations, help you get them bump steals. Box on silver, getting the box out. I, we could have potentially put it higher, but I like it at silver. It works just fine. I tried it on gold. It's about the same thing. So I like it on silver. But if someone has a, a Hall of Fame worm, you might feel a difference. But you just got to hold that L2 button and that's your best friend. Chase down artists on silver. I put it on Hall of Fame with the other way. But silver, you're getting down there. You're getting them blocks on the fast break. Interceptor on bronze. You're getting the passing, passing lanes. Uh, pickpocket 
on ball steals and tireless defender so you're not tired uh we obviously with our extra four badges i put chase on artists on hall of fame interceptor on silver and pickpocket on silver um those are pretty much the right badges to be using um with that being said no that's pretty much everything that is all of our uh badges so if you guys have any other questions whatsoever, you guys have any other suggestions for videos, anything else you guys want to know, any more tutorials you want your way, I'm the guy. Just make sure you leave it in the comments below. I would never know what you want. I can't read minds, but I can play big man pretty well. Um, make sure you guys leave it a like, comment, and subscribe. And like always, it's been real. It's your boy Beans, but I'm out.